All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log nine to the power of x is equal to log 36. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log nine to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log nine is equal to log 36. Now if I divide both sides by log nine, these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, log 36, I can rewrite that as log of 9 times 4. So I have this over log 9. And if I have something in the form log a times b this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log of 9 times 4, that's going to equal log 9 plus log 4. And I have this over log 9. Now, this is the same thing as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Now, log 9 and log 9, these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 9. And log 4, that's the same thing as 2 squared. So I get 1 plus log of 2 squared over log 9. This is 3 squared, so log of 3 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3. These two 2's cancel out, so I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 3. All right, so in this problem, I have nine to the power of x is equal to x to the power of six. Now I'm going to find the value of x. So for my solution, I start with nine to the power of x is equal to x to the power of six. And I'm actually going to take the power of one over x on both sides. So now I have 9 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 9 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x, that's going to equal 9 to the power of x times 1 over x. And x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over x, that's going to equal x to the power of 6 times 1 over x. Now x times 1 over x, these two cancel out, so it's just, I'm simply left with 9, is equal to 6 times 1 over x, which is 6 over x. Now I'm going to take the power of 1 over 6 on both sides. So now I have 9 to the power of 1 over 6 is equal to x to the power of 6 over x to the power of 1 over 6. And again, this is going to equal x to the power of 6 over x times 1 over 6. These two cancel out. So now I'm left with 9 to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. 
Now, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So I get 3 squared to the power of 1 over at 6 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. 2 and 6, these make 3. So I get 3 to the power of 1 third is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And notice how this is in the form x to the power of 1 over x. A number to the power of 1 over that same number is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, meaning x is simply equal to 3. So now to check, my original equation was 9 to the power of x equals x to the power of 6. So I get 9 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 6. And 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, so I get 3 squared to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 6, which is 3 to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 6. Alright, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. So, I obviously want to find the value of x here. So, for my solution... I'm going to first start by writing 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. And I'm going to take the log of base 2 on both sides. So now I have log base 2 of 2 to the power of x is equal to log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form log base a of a, this is simply equal to 1. So as you see here, we have log base 2 of 2. And actually, before I cancel these two out, if I have something in the form log base a of to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have x as my exponent, so I can move this to the front. So now I have x times log base 2 of 2 is equal to, I'm going to do the same thing over here, log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. I can move x to the front here. So now I have this is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now remember, if I have something in form log base a of a, this is equal to 1. So log base 2 of 2 is to cancel out, so I get simply left with x times 1 is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. And x times 1 is simply x, so I get x is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now, I'm going to subtract both sides by x, base log, or sorry, x log base 2 of 3. So these two cancel out, and I get x minus x times log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. Now if I factor out x, I get x times 1 minus log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. And if I divide both sides by 1 minus log base 2 of 3, these two cancel out, and I'm left with x is equal to 0.